When there is an injury that we're concerned that it might have affected the vascularity of the hand, the first thing to do is to look at the hand overall. And we can see that the hand is nice and pink and there's good capillary return in all parts of the hand. If there was a laceration here, we might be concerned that it had divided either the radial artery or the ulna artery. If we were to palpate here with a laceration here and be able to feel the radial artery pulsing, that doesn't necessarily mean that the radial artery is in continuity. It may in fact mean that there's blood flowing through the ulnar artery, through the arch in the palm and back through the radial artery. Con conversely, if the laceration is here and we palpate the ulnar artery here, the fact that we can feel a pulsation in the ulnar artery does not necessarily mean that the artery is in continuity from here across the laceration to where we're palpating it. It could also mean that blood is flowing through the radial artery around the arch in the hand and back in reverse flow through the ulnar artery. So the only way to see therefore whether there is continuity is to do the Allen's test. In this test we block off both the radial and the ulnar arteries and ask the patient to flex their hand into a fist and relax and keep going. As they do that and they use up all the oxygen in the blood, you can see the hand going pale. Okay, and relax the hand. And now when we release, I, in a moment I will release the radial artery, you'll be able to see the change in colour in the hand. So I'm going to release three, two, one, now, and you see it come up bright red. So that proves that there is continuity of the radial artery. If we do the same thing again, Okay, make a fist for me and straighten out. And again, keep going. Till the hand is pale. Okay, and relax. And then I'm going to release the ulnar artery. Three, two, one, release. And you can see it becomes bright red immediately.